score courses blank underscore blank underscore first semester course code n dash c dash 101 course title late medieval to elizabethan age nature of course co total credits assigned 4 distribution of credit 3 lectures and 1 tutorial course objectives this course intends to familiarize the learners with the socio-cultural and historical background of English literature from late medieval to the Elizabethan period. It would introduce the learners with historical and social contexts including religion, church, feudalism, land, printing, Tudor dynasty, gender, war, disease, merchant class, international trade, social life, chivalry, morality and geography that form the backdrop of the literature produced during this period. Course Structure this course will comprise of four credits, which will have to be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 24, 24 contact hours will be allotted to Unit I, 24, 24 contact hours to Unit 2 and 20, 20 contact hours to Unit 3. All texts are compulsory. Learners are to be evaluated through seminar presentations, viva voce, term papers, home assignments, in-semester exams, end-semester exams, group discussions etc. Required Readings Unit I Poetry Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, Part 1 Selections from Motte the Arthur, Section on the Death of Arthur Geoffrey Chaucer Prologue to the Canterbury Tales Thomas Wyatt, Farewell Love, Dido in Love, Surrey, Suit Season, My Loot Awake Edmund Spencer Amoretti, Sonnet 34, 54, 65, 79 Philip Sidney Astrophel and Stellar, Sonnet 9, 34 72, 106. William Shakespeare Sonnet 20, 71, 126, 147. Unit 2, Drama. Christopher Marlowe, The Jew of Malta, Thomas Kidd, The Spanish Tragedy. William Shakespeare, Hamlet, The Merchant of Venice, Henry IV, Part 1, Measure for Measure. Unit 3, Non-Fictional Prose. Marjorie Kemp, Pilgrimage to Jerusalem, The Birth of Her First Child and Her First Vision. Francis Bacon, Of Travel, Of Marriage and Single Life, Of Superstition Elizabeth I's Speech to the Troops at Tilbury Mode of Assessment Internal Assessment, 40 Marks Sessional Test 1, 10 Marks Sessional Test 2, 10 Marks Seminar Presentation, 10 Marks Group Discussion, Viva Voce, 5 Marks Attendance, 5 Marks Total, 40 Marks Final Examination, End Semester, 60 Marks Unit I, 2 broad questions plus 2 short notes, analysis 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 equals 24 marks. Unit 2, 3 broad questions, 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24 marks. Unit 3, 1 broad question plus 1 short note, analysis 8 plus 4 equals 12 marks. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Total, 60 marks. Expected learner outcome. At the end of the course, learners are expected to be acquainted with the socio-political conditions as well attendant ideologies of the time. They are expected to be familiar with the ideological shift from the medieval to renaissance humanism through a critical reading of the texts prescribed. They would be able to identify the development of literary genres such as poetry, long verse, sonnet, drama, tragedy, comedy, historical play, non-fiction, essay, autobiography in the context of the period. Recommended Readings M. H. Abrams, ed. The Norton Anthology of English Literature, Vol. 1. David Lowenstein and Janelle Muller, eds. The Cambridge History of Early Modern English. Literature. Gillian Rudd, The Complete Critical Guide to Geoffrey Chaucer. Patrick Cheney, Reading 16th Century Poetry. Morris Evans, English Poetry in the 16th Century. Michael R. G. Spiller, The Development of the Sonnet, An Introduction. Michael Huttaway, Elizabethan Popular Theatre, Plays in Performance. Charles T. Prouty Studies in the Elizabethan Theatre. G. K. Hunter English Drama 1586-1642, The Age of Shakespeare. Jill Cryer and M. W. F. Stone, Humanism and Early Modern Philosophy. Course Code. N. Dash. C. Dash. 10. 2. Course Title, Jacobian to the Pre-Restoration. Nature of course, co. Total credits assigned, 4. Distribution of credit, 3 lectures and 1 tutorial. Course objectives. 
This course has been designed with the purpose of familiarizing the learners with the sweeping contexts of the 17th century, which include scholarly love, religion and Christianity, travel and discovery, chivalry, war, monarchy, social change, court and the city, science and empiricism, humanism, internationalism, trade and maritime politics, foreign relations, translations and cultural exchange, early orientalism, rise of English criticism, disease, fine arts, gender and sexuality, civil war, among others. To emphasize how the empirical turn to philosophy impacted the literary productions of England, thereby ushering in metaphysical poetry, plays and poetry on representation of women's issues, women's writing, modern political theory and philosophy, etc. Course structure. This course will comprise of four credits, which will have to be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 16, 16 contact hours will be allotted to unit I. 30 30 contact hours to unit 2 and 18 18 contact hours to unit 3. Learners are to be evaluated through seminar presentations, viva voce, term papers, home assignments, in semester exams, group discussions and so forth. The learners on culmination of the course are expected to be acquainted with both the texts and the contexts of the given period. Required readings. Unit I. Poetry. John Dunn, The Sun Rising. A Valediction, Forbidding Morning. Holy Sonnets 14, 17 inches. George Herbert, The Windows, Man. Andrew Marvell, Bermudas, The Definition of Love. Mary Roth, Sweetest Love, Return Again, In This Strange Labyrinth. Emilia Linea, Ease Apology in Defense of Women. Unit 2, Drama. Ben Johnson Walpone, The Alchemist. Webster, The White Devil. Thomas Middleton. Women Beware Women. Slash. The Changeling. Unit 3, Non-Fictional Prose James I, A Counter Blast to Tobacco Margaret Cavendish, The Blazing World, Selections Milton, On Divorce, A Repagetica, Selections Thomas Hobbes, Chapter 13 of Leviathan Mode of Assessment Internal Assessment, 40 Marks Sessional Test 1, 10 Marks Sessional Test 2, 10 Marks Seminar Presentation, 10 Marks Group Discussion, Viva Voce 5 marks, attendance, 5 marks. Total, 40 marks. Final examination, end semester, 60 marks. Unit I, 2 broad questions plus 1 short note analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 4 equals 20 marks. Unit 2, 3 broad questions, 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 24 marks. Unit 3, 1 broad question plus 2 short notes analysis, 8 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16 marks. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Total, 60 marks. Expected learner outcome. The learners on culmination of the course are expected to be acquainted with both the texts and the contexts of the given period. It will familiarize the learners with the sweeping contexts of the 17th century, which includes courtly love, religion and Christianity, travel and discovery, chivalry, war, monarchy, social change, court and the city, science and empiricism, humanism, internationalism, trade and maritime politics, foreign relations, translations and cultural exchange, early orientalism, rise of English criticism, disease, fine arts, gender and sexuality, civil war, among others. The learners will be able to acquaint themselves with the characteristic trends of culture and literature that distinguish these works from those of the preceding in the following periods. Recommended Readings Abrams, M. H., Greenblatt, Stephen, ed. The Norton Anthology of English Literature, Vol. I. Sanders, Andrew. The Short Oxford History of English Literature. Legua, Emile. A Short History of English Literature. Deiches, David. A Critical History of English Literature, Vol. I. Alexander, Michael. A History of English Literature. Trevelyan, G. M. English Social History A Survey of Six Centuries Chaucer to Queen Victoria. Birch, Dinah, ed. The Oxford Companion to English Literature, 7th edition, London, OUP, 2009. Course Code. M. Dash. C. Dash. 10. 3. Course Title, Restoration and 18th Century. Nature of Course, Co. Total Credits Assigned, 4. Distribution of Credit, 3 Lectures and 1 Tutorial. Course Objectives. The course aims to acquaint the learners with the different movements and themes which were dominant during the Neoclassical Age Restoration and Augustan in English literary history. 
Through an extensive study of a wide range of texts and authors, the learners would be encouraged to explore the key contextual concerns of that period including scientific developments, political turmoil, urbanization, colonization, slave trade, commercialization along with other social and cultural developments. Taking the diverse contexts into account, the learners would be enabled to trace the development, significance and relevance of literary expressions such as satire, mock epics, comic plays, prose pieces serving as significant precursors to the novel, periodical essays and biographies. The course shall also encourage the learner to delve into the field of women's literature through a careful study of leading female authors and poets of that period. Course Structure This course will comprise of four credits, which will have to be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 2020 contact hours shall be allotted to Unit I, 14, 14 contact hours to Unit 2 and 30, 30 contact hours to Unit 3. All texts are compulsory. Learners are to be evaluated through seminar presentations, viva voce, term papers, home assignments, in-semester exams, end-semester exams, group discussions and so forth. Required readings. Unit 1 Poetry. Milton Paradise Lost Book 9. John Dryden MacFleckno. Alexander Pope Epistle to Dr. Abathnod. Catherine Phillips, To My Excellent Lucasia. Anne Yearsley, A Poem on the Inhumanity of Slave Trade Selections. Unit 2 Fiction. Afra Ben Orinuko. Henry Fielding Joseph Andrews Tom Jones. Daniel Defoe Robinson Crusoe. Unit 3 Drama and Non-Fictional Prose. Oliver Goldsmith She Stoops to Conquer. Richard Sheridan The School for Scandal, The Rivals. Jonathan Swift A Modest Proposal. Joseph Addison and Richard Steele Spectator Tent Selections. Samuel Johnson, Life of Pope, Life of Cowley. Mode of Assessment. Internal Assessment, 40 Marks. Sessional Test 1, 10 Marks. Sessional Test 2, 10 Marks. Seminar Presentation, 10 Marks. Group Discussion, Viva Voce, 5 Marks. Attendance, 5 Marks. Total, 40 Marks. Final Examination, End Semester, 60 Marks. Unit I, 2 Broad Questions plus 1 Short Notes Analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 4 equals 20 Marks. Unit 2, 2 Broad Questions, 8 plus 8 equals 16 Marks. Unit 3, 2 Broad Questions plus 2 Short Notes Analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 equals 24 Marks. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Total, 60 Marks. Expected Learner Outcome. At the end of the course the learners would be able to achieve a holistic understanding of the neoclassical age and approach their texts critically within the relevant political, social and cultural contexts. The learners would develop a neat and clear understanding of the English literary history spanning from Restoration to Augustan age in a chronological order. The learners would be able to identify the influence of British political developments on literary expressions especially about the emergence popular genre of that period such as satire. Recommended Readings M. H. Abrams, Stephen Greenblatt, ed. The Norton Anthology of English Literature Vol. 1. Andrew Sanders, The Short Oxford History of English Literature. Emile Leguva, A Short History of English Literature. David Deitches, A Critical History of English Literature Vol. 2. Michael Alexander, A History of English Literature. G. M. Trevelyan, English Social History, A Survey of Six Centuries, Chaucer to Queen Victoria. Dinah Birch ed. The Oxford Companion to English Literature, 7th edition. London, OUP, 2009. Second semester. Course code. M. Dash. C. Dash. 201. Course title, The English Romantics. Nature of course, co. Total credits assigned, 4. Distribution of credit, 3 lectures and 1 tutorial. Course objectives. The objective of the course is, first, to familiarize the learner with the historical background of the period keeping in mind the sweeping social, political and economic changes that accompanied English imperialism. The learner will be able to critically examine the poetry, prose and fiction of the Romantic period, with attention drawn to the emergence of women's writing, the advocacy for women's social and political rights, and publishing in a challenging climate dominated by gentrified expectations of behavior. The course aims to guide the learner to identify and engage with the important works of the Romantic era, their authors, and their stylistic devices. 
The course will also introduce the learners with new critical frameworks in order to investigate and reread the texts in the light of recent concerns, such as class, gender, and orientalism. Course Structure this course will comprise of four credits, which will have to be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 26, 26 contact hours will be allotted to Unit I, 16, 16 contact hours to Unit 2, and 22, 22 contact hours to Unit 3. All texts are compulsory. Learners are to be evaluated through their seminar presentations, viva voce, term papers, home assignments, in-semester exams, end-semester exams, group discussions and so forth. Required readings. Nati, Poetry. William Blake, Holy Thursday, The Poison Tree, London. James Thompson, Rule Britannia. Helen Maria Williams, On the Bill Which Was Passed Regulating the Slave Trade. Felicia Hemans, The Sati. William Wordsworth, Upon Westminster Bridge, Steamboats, Viaducts and Railways, The Old Cumberland Beggar. Samuel Taylor Coleridge, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Shelley, England 1890, Ode to a Skylark. John Keats, Ode on a Grecian Urn, Ode on Melancholy. The Nati, Prose. Charles Lamb, Old China. Thomas the Quincy, The Malay Sequence from the Confessions of an Opium Eater, excerpt from Norton Anthology. Mary Wollstonecraft, Selections from a Vindication of the Rights of Women, excerpt from Norton Anthology. Unit 3, Fiction. Jane Austen Persuasion, Northanger Abbey. Mary Shelley, Frankenstein. Mode of Assessment. Internal Assessment, 40 marks. Sessional Test 1, 10 marks. Sessional Test 2, 10 marks. Seminar Presentation, 10 marks. Group Discussion, Viva Voce, 5 marks. Attendance, 5 marks. Total, 40 marks. Final Examination, End Semester, 60 marks. Unit I, 4 Broad Questions, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals 32 marks. Unity, 3 short questions, 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12 marks. Unity, 2 broad question, 8 plus 8 equals 16 marks. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Total, 60 marks. Expected learner outcome. Learner would be able to critically appreciate the immense contribution of writers, poets, and essayists to the British literary canon of the Romantic period. The learner will be able to locate the Romantic movement beyond its literary trappings, contextualizing it within the radical and volatile political, social and economic shifts during the time, including but not limited to the American and French revolutions, the abolition movement and the industrial revolution. The learner will be able to better locate the reactionary spirit of the age, as a response to the neoclassical period as well as a precursor to the Victorian age. Recommended Readings M. H. Abrams, Stephen Greenblatt, ed. The Norton Anthology of English Literature, Vol. 2. Andrew Sanders, The Short Oxford History of English Literature. Emile Leguwa, A Short History of English Literature. David Deitches, A Critical History of English Literature, Vol. 2. Michael Alexander, A History of English Literature. G. M. Trevelyan, English Social History, A Survey of Six Centuries, Chaucer to Queen Victoria. Dinah Birch ed. The Oxford Companion to English Literature, 7th edition. London. OUP, 2009. Course Code. N. C. 20. 2. Course Title, The Victorian Age. Nature of Course, Co. Total Credits Assigned, 4. Distribution of Credit, 3 Lectures and 1 Tutorial. Course Objectives. The course intends to familiarize the learners with the different forms of literary expression such as dramatic monologue, children's literature, fantasy literature, autobiographical fiction, scientific treatise, detective fiction which flourished during the Victorian age. It also aims to enable the learners' understanding of the significant contexts pertaining to the Victorian period about politics, colonialism, science, culture, religion, industrialization, race, gender and sexuality. Along with literary analysis of texts, the learners will be encouraged to explore the history of the women's movement that geared up during this period in Britain. Course Structure This course will comprise of four credits, which will have to be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 18, 18 contact hours shall be allotted to Unit I, 16, 16 contact hours to Unit 2 and 30, 30 contact hours to Unit 3. 
all texts are compulsory. Learners are to be evaluated through their seminar presentations, viva voce, term papers, home assignments, in semester exams, end semester exams, group discussions, and so forth. Required readings Unit I Poetry Elizabeth Barrett Browning to George Sand, a recognition. Robert Browning, two in a campagna, the laboratory. Tennyson, Ulysses, selections from In Memoriam. Christiana Rossetti extracts from The Goblin Market, lines 1 to 140. Unit 2, non-fictional prose. Carlyle Queen Victoria at 18. J.S. Mill selections from Subjection of Women, not in extracts. Charles Darwin introduction on the origin of species. Matthew Arnold Extracts from Culture and Anarchy, first to Norton Selections. Unit 3, Fiction. Thomas Hardy from the Wessex Tales. Charles Dickens' Bleak House. Lewis Carroll Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. Arthur Conan Doyle, The Speckle Band, Wilkie Collins' The Moonstone. Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre. Mode of Assessment. Internal Assessment, 40 Marks. Sessional Test 1, 10 Marks. Sessional Test 2, 10 Marks. Seminar presentation, 10 marks, group discussion, viva voce, 5 marks, attendance, 5 marks. Total, 40 marks. Final examination, end semester, 60 marks. Unit I, 1 broad question plus 1 short note analysis, 8 plus 8 equals 16 marks. Unit 2, 1 broad question plus 2 short note analysis, 8 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16 marks. Unit 3, 3 broad questions plus 1 short note analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 equals 28 marks. Blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank. Total, 60 marks. Expected learner outcome. At the end of the course the learners would be able to situate their texts within the relevant historical and cultural contexts of the Victorian age. They would be able to grasp the significance of the Victorian age as a transitional phase located between two other significant periods of British literary history, the Romantic age that precedes it and the modern age that follows. They would be able to engage in intertextual analysis and comparative reading across the different units of the course. Recommended readings Sandra Gilbert and Susan Gubber The Madwoman in the Attic, The Woman Writer and the 19th Century Literary Imagination Elaine Showalter A Literature of Their Own, British Women Novelists from Bronte to Lessing. Eric Hobsbawm The Age of Revolution, 1789-1848. Cornelia Piersal Tennyson's Rapture, Transformation in Victorian Dramatic Monologue. James Illy Adams A History of Victorian Literature. Isabel Armstrong Victorian Poetry, Poetry, Poetics and Politics. Richard Cronin, Alison Chapman and Anthony H. Harrison, ed. A Companion to Victorian Poetry Diadre David Ed. Cambridge Companion to Victorian Novel Richard Cronin Romantic Victorians, English Literature, 1824-1840 Course Code M. Dash. C. Dash. 203 Course Title, Classical Criticism to the New Critics Nature of Course, Co. Total Credits Assigned, 4 Distribution of Credit, 3 Lectures and 1 Tutorial Course Objectives To acquaint learners with the art craft of criticism of literary texts as have been Practiced from the classical period to the early 20th century To provide the learners a broad survey of the history and development of literary criticism and theory in Western culture from Plato and Aristotle to the early 20th century The learners would be familiarized with ideas as disparate as mimesis, representation, tragedy, republic, nature, the sublime, perception, the text, reception and so forth. The learners would be encouraged to read, analyze critically different texts from the lens provided by these concepts of criticisms and theories. Course Structure This four-credit course has been divided into three units, Unit I, Unit II and Unit Three. The course will be completed within 16 weeks, 64 contact hours. 18, 18 contact hours will be allotted to Unit I, 26, 26 contact hours to Unit 2 and 20, 20 contact hours to Unit 3. Required readings. Unit I. Plato, The Republic Book 10, Not in Extracts. Aristotle, On Representation, Section IIX of Poetics. Horace, Ars Poetica. Longinus, On the Sublime. Unit 2. Sir Philip Sidney, An Apology for Poetry. Pope, Essay on Criticism. 
Burke, Part 1 Section 7 of The Sublime, Not an Extracts Dr. Samuel Johnson, Preface to Shakespeare P.B. Shelley, from The Defense of Poetry, Not in Page No. 713-717 John Keats, Letter to Benjamin Bailey, November 22, 1817 Negative Capability, Letter to George and Tom Keats Matthew Arnold, Function of Criticism at the Present Time, The Study of Poetry Unit 3. T.S. Eliot, Hamlet and Its Problems, The Metaphysical Poets. F.R. Leavis, Literary Criticism and Philosophy, From the Common Pursuit. I.A. Richards, Poetry and Belief. Wimsett and Beardsley, The Intentional Fallacy. Mode of Assessment. Internal Assessment, 40 Marks. Sessional Test 1, 10 Marks. Sessional Test 2, 10 Marks. Seminar Presentation, 10 Marks. Group Discussion, Viva Voce. 5 marks, attendance, 5 marks. Total, 40 marks. End semester examination, 60 marks. Unit I, 2 broad questions, 8 plus 8 equals 16 marks. Unit 2, 2 broad questions plus 2 short notes analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 equals 24 marks. Unit 3, 2 broad questions plus 1 short notes analysis, 8 plus 8 plus 4 equals 20 marks. Total, 60 marks. Expected learner outcomes. The learners at the culmination of the course would be able to understand the fundamental concepts of criticism. The learners would be able to evaluate literary texts by deploying the theories and concepts of criticism as formulated by philosophers and critics since antiquity. The learners at the end of the course would be able to comprehend the subtle distinctions between criticism and theory. Recommended readings. Abrams, M. H., The Mirror and the Lamp, Romantic Theory and the Critical Tradition. London, Oxford University Press, 1971. Abrams, M. H., and Jeffrey Galthafam. The Glossary of Literary Terms, 10th ed. USA, Wadsworth, Cengage Learning, 2012. Adams, Hazard, Critical Theory Since Plato, 2nd ed. California, Harcourt Brace Jovanovich College Publishers, 1992. Barton, Edwin J., and Glenda A. Hudson. A Contemporary Guide to Literary Terms with Strategies for Writing Essays About Literature. Boston, USA, Horton Mifflin, 2004. Brooks, Client, and Paul Rand. The Well Wrought Urn, Studies in the Structure of Poetry. California, Harcourt Brace, 1947. D.J. Enright, and E. De Chikara. English Critical Texts. London. OUP, 1962. Deitches, David. Critical Approaches to Literature, 2nd ed., London, Orient Longman Private Limited, 2005. Guerin, Wilfred L. A Handbook of Critical Approaches to Literature, 4th ed., London, Oxford University Press, 1999. Hudson, W. H. An Introduction to the Study of Literature. New Delhi, Atlantic Publishers and Distributors Private Limited, 2006. Leach, Vincent B., ed. The Norton Anthology of Theory and Criticism. London, W. W. Norton & Company, 2001. M. A. R. Habib. A History of Literary Criticism in Theory, From Plato to the Present. Malden. M. A. Blackwell Publishing, 2008. Preminger, Alex. Princeton Encyclopedia of Poetry and Poetics. New Jersey, Princeton University Press, 1972. S. Ramaswamy and V. S. Sethuraman. The English Critical Tradition, Vol. E1 and 2. New Delhi. Macmillan, 2014. Vogue, Patricia. Literary Theory and Criticism. London, OUP, 2006. Wellick, Rennie, and Austin Warren. Theory of Literature, London, Penguin, 1980. Third Semester. Course Code. Eng. Dash. C. Dash. 301. Course title, The Modern Age and Beyond. Nature of course, co. Total credits assigned, 4. Distribution of credit, 3 lectures and 1 tutorial. Course objectives. To familiarize learners with such early and mid-20th century epoch-making events as the two world wars, the Holocaust, Empire and the End of Empire, Migration, Decolonization, Migration, Students Uprising, Economic Crisis, The Great Depression, Information Revolution and so forth reflected through literature. To represent other significant signposts, 
which include the dominance of science and technology, the formation of the three worlds theory, importance accorded to the preservation and conservation of the ecology and environment, interest in intellectual history, underscoring the